friend, welcome to Born for Homeschool. I am Rachel Born. So today I just wanted to walk you through the first step of how I start planning out our homeschool year. So this year I'm going to be homeschooling three. I'll have a fifth grader, a second grader, and a kindergartner. And I'm going to start my planning by writing out our mission for the year, and then I'm going to write down specific goals that I have for each of our children. So we will be going into our sixth year homeschooling. And last year is the first year that I actually sat down and wrote out our mission and goals for the year. And by doing that, it was incredible. The encouragement and the motivation that I had throughout the year, even when things were crazy. And it helped me to stay focused on the fact that progress really was made and um, our homeschool really was successful for last year. So that being said, I start with our mission and then I write down our goals. So this is a bit messy, but I'm going to give you a peek into what I have for our family. So here I have the subjects listed over here on the side and then I have each of our children listed across the top and then I just start brainstorming the curriculum that I already have, maybe the topics that I want to cover, the unit studies that I want to do, just jotting down big picture ideas and how everything is going to work together for the year. And the next few pages of my notebook, I just write down specifically the subject and then I list resources or curriculum or books, just any ideas that have to do with that subject, things that I may want to include or things that is just sparked by something that I read or research on curriculum that we have or maybe a unit study resource that I want to use. So I just write down all of the things under the headings of the subject. So I'm going to show you a few of the subjects that I have listed out here and just what I mean by the specifics of that subject. So here is Bible. And I just have some ideas here for what we might do for Bible this year. And the next subject that I have here is English. So I've listed out our English curriculum. I listed out some of our grammar and ideas for reading. I have some ideas as far as a reading chart. I saw a recommendation for a book that I might want to use for reading and then I have a, just a book listed here for my kindergartner. So the next subject here is science and we're going to be studying the human body this year and I'm really excited about it but I'll do unit studies and stuff separately from this planning. And then for I have my social studies um, listed out and uh, this year we're going to use mystery of history for a spine and so I just have listed out some of the things that I really want to do with that, timelines, lap books, stories, but I'm really excited to open up the curriculum and to be able to look through and start planning our social studies for this year. Ancient history is, is kind of where our history is going to be for this year. I have a bunch of books listed here for either book ideas, read alouds, or recommendations that I saw other places that I wanted to See about including for our homeschool year. So now that I have the subjects listed and the curriculum for each child, I now will take inventory of the things that we already own and the resources that we have and I will make a list. Um, here I started my curriculum list for the things that I need to purchase or buy and later today I'm actually heading out to a friend's house. Um, she is hosting a homeschool used book sale and so I'm going to head over there and see the things that she might have that would fit into our homeschool for this coming year. So now that I have a good idea as far as what we're going to do our homeschool year in regards to curriculum and the unit studies that we'll be working through, I am now really excited to be starting my homeschool planner for the 2021-2022 homeschool year. And it's just a blank dot notebook. You'll see here, it's just dots on the inside and I'll draw all the lines or the <laughs> charts or whatever. I've started. <laughs> and I'm going to do a video of walking you through the process of how I set up my notebook and the things that I've 
learn to include. And I just want you to know that this planning works for me. And I have learned over the last few years that this works best to have things written out and thought through and planned with a lot of margin on the side. And you may find that you work differently. You may find that you need a more detailed plan or you like other people to do the plan for you. There are a lot of curriculums that you can find that have the lesson plans all planned out. You also may find that you do not like to plan as much as I do and it does not work well for your personality or, or for your students. That is the beautiful thing about homeschool is that we can plan or not plan according to our preferences and our taste and what works for us and our kids. But leave me a comment below. I would love to hear how you plan for your homeschool and if you pretty much do it the same way that I do or if you have other ways that you plan. In some of my upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you my homeschool planner that I'm working on and I'm gonna show you our schoolroom that I need to get ready for this coming year. So you won't wanna miss the videos that I have coming up here at Born For Homeschool. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.